Hey, this is Richie. I'm one of the instructors at Rock Guitar. Hey, my pleasure to have you with me. In this video, we are going to take the three chords that we just learned, the G chord, the C chord, and the D chord, and we're going to put them all together, and we're going to be able to play the song Steal My Kisses. So, exciting! You're about to learn your first song. How good does that make you feel? Pretty good. All right. Well, let's do it. Okay, now, one thing to keep in mind when you're playing these chords is that when you're transitioning and transitioning in tempo, you don't want to, um, first of all, you don't want to keep your hand in the same place. I know a lot of kids that I teach and a lot of adults that I teach like to try to keep their left hand in the same place. But there's a certain technique, and it's called shifting, where you shift your hand, basically you're shifting your thumb or the center of your hand up and down the neck. So that's what you're going to do for these chords. And it's going to be real simple. I'll show you how to do it. Um, but basically, try to keep in mind that you don't want your hand to be stretching a lot like this or stretching a lot like this. You kind of want to have your hand centered around those chords. So that's going to help you a lot. Okay? So let's just go ahead and go over what this is going to sound like first. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do starting with the G chord. I'm going to strum it four times. Then I'm going to switch to the C chord for four times. Then switch to the D chord for four times. Then back to the G chord. I'll play it again. All right. Now, probably a lot of you have already been trying that, which is good. It's good to get out and try to get ahead and try that. But let me just show you a few pointers on how to make those transitions nice and smooth so that way you're playing in time and keeping a really great rhythm. Okay, so first of all, we're going to strum our G chord four times to a count of four. You ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up that first finger off of that first string and then we are going to shift our hand so that way our thumb, which is right behind the third fret right now, is going to shift over to right behind the first fret. Okay, And then you're going to put your first finger on the C chord, which is first finger on that first fret of the second string. Okay. So remember, you're going to shift your thumb from the third fret to the first fret behind the neck, and then place your first finger down on that second string. So basically, it's kind of like playing jumping strings with your finger. You're here, you're there. You're here, you're there. So here we go. I'm going to start with the G chord again. A count of four. Ready? One. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Over to C chord. Just try to hit that once for now. Okay? All right, now when it gets to the C chord, when we jump over here, we are going to strum that four times, just like we've been doing in practice. Okay? So let's do that C chord four times. And just remember, we're only plucking the first and second string. Okay? These two right here. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right, nice, nice, good job. Now here's a real tricky transition. Jumping from the C chord to the D chord. It's a little bit trickier because you have to switch your first finger from the second string to the first string. So, 
It's a little bit trickier. You can't just slide up like this. You have to go like this. You have to actually pick your finger up off of the fretboard and then place your first finger on that second fret and then your second finger on that third fret of the second string. Okay? So remember, it's kind of like a jumping action. You're not sliding. You're kind of jumping or picking your fingers up off the fretboard. Okay? And keep in mind, too, that you're shifting your hand, you're shifting your thumb from behind the first fret to behind the second fret. Okay? So let's try that. Let's try doing four times on C and then one pluck on D. Okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. Do it a little bit slower, so that way you can kind of see it a little bit better. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. All right, good job. Okay, now when we get to the D chord, we are going to strum that four times, too. So each of these chords gets four strums. Okay? So here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right. All right. Getting the hang of it? I knew you would. Excellent. Okay, so let's put it all together, and let's try to do it in the same time and keeping the same tempo throughout. And this might take a little practice, so I recommend that instead of practicing everything really fast, like this, that can be really tricky to do. What I would recommend is practicing things really slow until you get comfortable with it and your fingers get strong then you can start to pick up the tempo and celebrate, okay? So we're going to start with the G chord. So everybody get your first finger right behind that third fret on the first string, and we're going to strum that four times. Then we'll switch to the C chord four times. Then we'll switch to the D chord four times. And then we'll go back to the G chord four times, okay? Here we go, starting with G. Ready? One, Two, three, four. G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four to D, two, three, four, now G. And if you'll notice, I was shifting my thumb the whole time I was doing that shifting my hand. I'll do it again. Ready? Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. That's what we call a sequence. And you just learned a sequence to a song, which when you repeat that sequence over and over, then you know how to play the whole song, Steal My Kisses. So congratulations, you learned how to play the song. Now in the next video, I'm going to have a little demo, which you all can jam along to, and uh, we'll play the song together. How about that? OK, so stick around. My name is Richie. I'm with Rock Guitar, and we've got some great lessons coming up as well in the series. So I'm really excited for you. Stick around. Let's jam.